Hello Pat Publicity fans, this is Mark from My Life Hedge Fund, back with the decklist of the week, which this week is Biosync. Took first place at Polish Nationals, and it's a deck I'm really curious about trying out. The basic goal of this deck is very much fast advance. You have biotic labors in there just to get your agendas out, and you have a lot of tag punishment as well, as Sync is known for. All the good stuff is there, you've got your closed accounts, exchange of information, psychographics, and you've got heart hitting news as well, just in case they decide, you know, this guy's scoring out too many agendas, I need to run. An interesting include as well as Salem's Hospitality. Uh, the decklist author says networking or Temujin is usually a good hit. Uh, but one thing that's very curious about this as well is, even though it's very much a passive advanced deck, there's no Cyberdex virus suite in there. So if someone is running clot, you have to resort to a plan B. Now it's not really for building remotes, so curious to see how it plays out. But uh, that's why we do this, to learn how these decks play and possibly implement some of these deck building tips or plays into our own play. So I hope you enjoy. Well, we found ourselves up against Leela, so no cloth threat there at least. And this is a pretty good opening hand. We have Data Raven to protect us somewhat against Siphon. I mean, if they're going to take tags this early, that's pretty good for us. Plenty of money and Turnpike as well. Plus, Biotic Labor. That will help us get the first agenda out the door. But of course, against Leela, you can't push too quickly. Because you will be punished for it. So we're just going to take a nice setup turn. And next turn, if we don't have to read anything, we'll be able to restructure. So we'll see if this is a set of Leela, or what kind of thing we're dealing with. And the hard hitting news uh, dream could be over already. But at least there's no Desperado as well. Small mercy. Small mercy. Uh, that could be a little annoying for them. And everything is kind of cheap enough to res. And we'll get our restructure out the door as well. So the dream starts over. Plenty of money. Three pieces of ice. And now we just uh, focus on shoring up the centrals. Making it difficult for them to run. Make them spend some money. And hopefully tag them then when they're a little bit poorer. So we'll get to fire this, and we'll get to t tag them as well, which will make this a lef less profitable run for them. And trace 5 is nothing to scoff at. But this is very much a, you know, take the tag, pay three and a click. Not ideal. Oh wow, they are spending money into it. Okay, that's good for us too. They will make the money back, but yeah, that's a, that's a tough pill to swallow. So we need to get ourselves more set up just on R&D. Hmm, that could work. They don't have networking yet anywhere. They would have just uh, taken the tag. So I think we wait. Maybe get another Temujin hit or networking when they seem a bit more willing to take tags. And Archangel is not the card you want down at the moment. Okay, they're very much getting their setup turn going. And Gang Sign, yep, that's uh, pretty much what you'd expect. But no cards in hand, at least. Oh, if, <laughs> if only we had an all seeing eye. We can biotic this score. Trashing. And they get one trash, which could be our size. That could be fun. They will get a free look on something. Plus security to help save money. Um, oh, that's very tempting. 
I think we wait. I think we don't jump the gun so too soon. Because otherwise we could have used our biotic labor and then end up um, bleeding access to some R&D as well. And end up resetting our own board state more so than theirs. Paperclip in the bin. Obviously they don't think we're playing Cronus Project. Hmm, this is an awkward position. Could score the BL here. One will get bounced. Um, I might access breaking news. I don't feel it's that bad a situation though, so let's try that. Um, I still have plenty of money as well. Plus against the gang sign deck, the longer you leave it, the worse things get usually, so we can get this out the door pretty quick. Hopefully don't lose the breaking news, because uh, that could reset our board pretty significantly. No, they hit our breaking news. Their connection is significantly quicker, quicker than mine. So I apologize for this. And I apologize, Voodoo Fly, if you see this. Yeah, people have been giving me grief. And understandably so. So what do we bounce here? Another turnpike seems good. For a moment I thought it was the Archangel for some reason. Don't mind me. So they're going to spend in here. Again, it's going to be expensive. So spending a click and three credits is not insignificant. Especially because this will get them, it'll get them a turning wheel counter, fair enough. But only two credits off security testing. Now they do know about our hitting news, so they're going to be very careful to play around that. Uh, networking could be a thing that we have to watch out for. The engine is alright. It's going to be expensive for them to get through. But the problem is when they're able to get through it, it's not going to do a whole lot of good. I mean, they'll just finance their way through the rest of it. So I think we wait and see what kind of code gate breaker we're dealing with. Question is, when do we go for the breaking news score? Not what we wanted to see. Let's draw. Um, check seems kind of fine for us. We could make them waste the security testing. Because we're happy enough to sh shuffle back economy and biotic labor. So I think I'll just install this, take a credit, and move on to the next one. It was too tempting for them not to. So we will deny them the three credits. Probiotic. Sweeps is usually pretty good to bounce back from like a siphon, things like that. So I think we'll take that as well as the restructure and of course biotic labor. That is the game plan. Mongoose. So we could get a hard hitting news here. We'd also save ourselves quite poor. So we need to pay two into it. Ideally, we'll hit with Salem's. Hmm. How good is Salem's for networking here? 
down to 7. Not great. I think just money up. Take two credits. Hit with the hard hitting news and make them reset a little bit. If they do have networking, at least we'll know about it. And they don't have any extra link? Nope, they don't. <laughs> okay, they are embracing the tides then. So we got Archangel. Seems better. What do we balance and balance this? Turning wheel probably. Desperado is usually good. And if they pay into this trace, then they very much are tagging me. Um, Desperado or Turning Wheel? No, we can get rid of Turning Wheel ourselves. Desperado is a bit more annoying. And unfortunately, we don't have a resistor. So they are indeed taking our money. But now they also have all the tags. So is this somewhat good here? Whoops. Of course, paperclip. Something you should be very aware of. And it's only going to get worse as well with that uh, code gate breaker that's coming out in the next pack. Okay, they're all in on the tags. So now we're looking for exchange of information, looking to give them the global foods. And aside from that, are they going to apocalypse us? No, they can't. Okay, they're just uh, getting the last of their money while they can. So if we can find a closed accounts, we're in a decent position. Resistor is actually pretty good as well. So Raven is now probably no good to us. And they've seen the resistor, but that's fine by me. So I think next turn we build towards a uh, trash in the turning wheel. Gang signs annoying as well, but we're in a position now where we're okay kind of swapping agendas. And really now we're just waiting to get our um, get our close accounts, get our tag punishment, and then we'll be good to go. And of course, we can build towards psychographics as well. Speak of the devil, there's a close accounts. So we can do one or the other, but not everything. They'll bounce back pretty quick next turn. So I think we actually just hold off for another turn.
trash the turning wheel. And at least that resets that clock a little bit. So next round they will be able to security test. They will be able to get their daily cast going. So I think when we when we can stabilize a little bit, and smack down their economy at the same time, I think that puts us in a better position. So Turnpike's doing not much, at least the one credit tax, and just racking up the tags there. Resistor, we'll still keep them somewhat honest with, uh, even with sports hopper on the board. And as they know that uh, Resistor's here, they really want to find the, the bounce as soon as possible. Cash and rise, that makes sense. I think if we can get our money set up, then we're good to trash stuff. And that's exactly what we needed. All right. So there's money up. Let's uh, trash security testing and just take some more money. Really, we should flip the ID. That's silly. At 11 tags, it's not going to make a difference if it's three or two to trash things. So the question is, how long do we hold this on for? Next turn we can flip, trash, and close accounts if we want. I'm full sure they're going to play paper tripping or something like that. Absolutely cripple us. But R&D is holding out well. So... Let's trash you. And we can take a credit, I suppose. Although we have six. If we close our accounts on now, it gives us extra turn. Gordian Blade versus Little Engine isn't that exciting. The Salem's not that great either. I think now is fine fine time. At least puts the makes them hit the pause button a little bit. Gives us some time. They've lost to Mujin. They now have much less money. We just have to find a way oh, and they're dealing with a lot of resource based economy. Uh now we just have to get into a position to score ourselves. Starting to get our money back. And then we just have to find our biotics and our psychographics, all that fun stuff. And then we'll be good to go. If we score breaking news now, they bounce this. Hmm. Let's just keep moneying up. I 
a 13 tiger that can't afford to put down any resources, they're spending a lot of money the hard way. And I think we will just keep moneying up ourselves. Could put a little, little engine up front. Bit more of a deterrent than anything. Because it's going to make it much, much easier to get through the Archangel. Um, could do it as just a... No, I'm, I'm going to hold on to it. We can find a better piece of ice, I think. Probably trash the gang sign as well at some point. Although, breaking news, if they steal the food, then we can get a swap in. Not bad. Hmm, there's the wife one. There's a fem on the Archangel. That seems good. But we can put money into resistor. And we can actually keep them out here. So if we put two into this. Saves us five credits. Also means that they don't get money. And their fem is going to be sad. Also means we can get our astro at the door. We'll lose this here, sure, but uh, yeah, I think this is pretty safe. Gang sign could hit, but I'm happy enough for. If they take the food, that's good. If they take the breaking news, it's much for muchness, really. Uh, doesn't set us back too much and doesn't progress them too much either. But no, they whip. And we got a toll booth back in hand. Which we're probably not going to use anytime soon. So now, I think we almost feed them with food. Get our breaking news scored. Let them gang sign. Hopefully hit the food and then we can um, just draw basically for for the win. There's the food. So now it is a case of draw. Draw, draw, draw. Find exchange and we're sorted. We now don't even need money, which is pretty great. And unless they can clear 13 tags, we should be okay. And there it is. So there you have it. This is why it won Polish Nationals. It is a good deck. Works well in the tag punishment era. Has a lot of ice that can just shut you down. Resistor for free is lovely. And then it gets up to 13 strength. Not bad at all. So they were hoping that networking would stop the hard hitting news, or me playing it at least. But worst case scenario, I play it, they spend a turn and four credits removing. Now at least I know the sale and hospitality gets better than when I do want to play it. But hopefully you enjoyed. Come on over to Ice Ice Hedge Fund for more games. And thank you for watching.